Welcome back. This is Brother Barnes. We are doing a mock practical. Tell me what kind of rib is number 27. Notice that it does not have a direct connection back to the sternum and there are about three different words that one could use to describe it. While we are here, let's look at a couple of other neat features. Notice the crest of the ilium. When you're standing with your hands on your hips, that's where you are placing your hands. Also notice the sacroiliac joint, the SI joint. Earlier I had asked you to identify the, the auricle or the ear-shaped part on the sacrum that articulates with the ilium. It's easy to see the anterior superior iliac spine here. And also notice that one can see the proximal head of the radius articulating with the capitulum. The ulna is articulating with the trochlea, a notch-shaped groove on the end of the humerus. Wow, there is a massively large epicondyle. You can actually feel that on the inside of your elbow. That's pretty easy to point out, isn't it? There is a coronoid fossa into which the coronoid process of the ulna fits. All right, a few observations along the way.